But in this universe, Yandu never had his change of heart. This right here is what the What If series should be about. Tiny little changes, one little decision. That's all it should be. It should not be, what if Ronan betrayed Thanos and Nebula was lost in space and Nova Prime found her and put her in charge of being a, de- a detective and the dude from Captain Marvel was a hacker. That, that, was, that was really dumb, okay? This is what it should all be about. The tiniest little changes make the biggest difference. And right here, Marvel is doing this 100% right. Right now, we are at the three-minute mark. I have not a single bad thing to say about this episode. So he turned Peter over to his father, the celestial being known as Ego. Perfect idea. I was always curious about it. We never got to see Ego's plan come to fruition. Now we can finally see what's going to happen with it. Traced his steps across dozens of nearby solar systems, all destroyed, consumed by a wave of cosmic radiation within 24 hours of his arrival. The praise was very short-lived. Do they know at this point in time that there is life outside of our universe? I know, yeah, with Captain Marvel, it took place obviously way before this episode would have taken place, though. So we did see the Kree. Was the rest of the world kind of privy to that information? Does everyone else know that aliens exist? Because now we're able to track all these different planets and now they're all being destroyed. And he destroys it within 24 hours and he's just walking at a snail's pace. This kid has an entire nuclear arsenal coursing through his veins. How do we know that? All we've seen so far is him pick up objects. I, I think that's such a such a stretch. And you just had to build up Peter Quill even more. I, I don't get it. And also, someone that does not believe in the Geneva Convention at all, how come we haven't shot a thousand missiles at him yet? Just, just blow him up entirely? That kind of firepower, I don't know that there's a person on Earth who can stop him. No. We don't, we don't need people. We have missiles. We have technology. One person working alone, but a team. I don't really think this is going to work, though. Because what are they going to expect it to do? Just beat him in a fist fight? At the rate he's going, our planet won't last a day. I don't think that's true at all. The world is pretty big. And we're not really seeing that much destruction from what he's doing so far. There's no vegetable. The potato chips are the vegetable. What is... why? And you're supposed to like potato chips. Guys, you're better than this. Come on. Listen, if you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. Just do one thing. Turn on the TV. I don't remember. Were these two not friends at all? We're not really seeing much from this. And also, with Ant-Man, I don't really remember them taking on any supervillains from that quick little flashback in Ant-Man 1, right? They were just doing spy stuff for the government. And that was it, right? I don't really think that he's the guy for this, because what are you possibly going to do with him? Is he going to shrink inside you know, his ear and explode in his brain? He's so cool. Oh, look right there. She's the key to this episode. She has a Walkman just like Peter Quill. It's going to end where there's a lot of destruction, the world's about to be destroyed, and then she's going to give him the headset. And it's going to bring him back to his human form. And he's going to find love again. Foster! Great. Now I know it's a disaster. Uh, if you don't know this, because I didn't know this, I had to look it up though. This is supposed to be Goliath. Remember uh, Lawrence Fishburne played his character in Ant-Man 2. You know damn well I don't have anyone to leave her with. We don't need this conversation. We only have a half hour of time here. Just, just move the story along, guys. King T'Chaka of the African Kingdom of Wakanda. Why is he here? <laughs> Think about that for a second, okay? Something's happened in New York City, so let's call the King of Wakanda in Africa and send him over here. What is he possibly going to do? Because again, we're dealing with a kid that's essentially a, an atomic bomb. So we're going to send dude that can scratch things and jump really high. None of these characters so far, even if she was Captain Carter at this point, we don't need Goliath, we don't need Ant-Man, we don't need... The King of Wakanda. None of these people have anything I can possibly kill Peter Quill. I understand you even donated some vibranium to your efforts. Donated? I think Killmonger would shit himself here in that. How'd the Kami snag an invite? Gorbachev wanted the target contained before so he sent the Winter Soldier. 
Why? Alright, so we have a dude that can shrink, a dude that can grow, a dude with claws, and now we got a dude with a gun. There is nobody here that's better than a missile right now. The world's most deadly assassin. Wasn't the Winter Soldier like this really big hidden project? It looks just like him, like Bucky. How the fuck do you know that? You don't know that's Bucky. Why would you know that's Bucky? I know it because I've seen the movie. The man we knew is long gone. Pe you never knew him, Howard. You never knew Bucky. And we have bigger fish to fry. Yeah, like the kid that's a fucking nuclear bomb blowing through the city at a snail's pace. Where's he going? He's not even with the team. He's just walking away. He doesn't even know what's going on. If we don't get there and take him out now, the entire eastern seaboard won't be inhabitable for the next half century. Guys, we're not seeing this stuff, though. We're not seeing it. That's the problem with what if so far, though. You're just telling me. You're not showing me this stuff. You should be showing me right now Peter Quill just blinking at things and all life gets obliterated. Don't tell me that the world's going to end soon if you're not going to show it to me. Are we even going to be able to intercept him in time? What do you mean intercept him in time? We just flew over the King of Wakanda in like a second. It's a long way from the Mojave Desert. Not in my ride. I'm assuming this is Captain Marvel. Okay, I don't really remember the movie Captain Marvel, but this is supposed to be the scientist Kree lady. So she's apparently going to have the Captain Marvel abilities. If that's true, she is the only person here that has any value at all to this fight. That uniform doesn't really look like Air Force. There are more important things going on than her uniform. Just just get in the plane, do all this conversation as, as we're flying over there. There's a ticking time bomb, literally. It's not. It's Kree Star Force. We're not... We don't need to go over this. Catman. Space Broad. Giant Man. Silent but Deadly. None of you have any value to this mission. <sighs> what if you just shot him? Can we, can we maybe have a scene of this where he just gets shot in the head or Bucky tries to snipe him from a long distance away and the bullet just turns to, I don't know, dust or something like that or bounce off his head? We need a scene like that in this because I don't understand the stakes right now. Yes, I know Peter Quill is a celestial being or some crap like that, though I kind of forgot, but I don't know if normal weapons can kill him. And if normal weapons can kill him, then this fight's over. If they can't, then none of these people are needed. He does not look all that threatening. No, he doesn't. That's the problem. They're doing a terrible job of explaining these powers. Good. How are we looking? I'm at the crash. Okay, so she's not super powered then. She has a jetpack. She is not Captain Marvel in this universe, so she has even less purpose of being here. I got the perimeter. You've been juicing? Wasn't the idea to be, to be stealthy and go in and catch him by surprise? You just decided, let's just make as much noise and be as obvious as humanly possible. Foster, I seem to remember you maxing out at 21 feet. Let's just say, for example, 21 feet was why they called him in here. In what world would that actually do anything? And also, what, what purpose does he have right now? He just blew up a stand with his mind. He could easily blow up this man by blinking at him. You should be able to trap him in the photon grid. He's already isolated. He's by himself. There's no one here. The job's already done. Bugging you? If his powers are based on emotion or something like that, though, why would you want to freak him out? He could just go supernova right now. Get ready with that tranquilizer. Lorraine. This plan is terrible. You're talking about a tranquilizer? You could have just done this already. <sighs> this is a terrible plan. He just blew up a city from what you're telling me. So now he's afraid of a few little bugs. He could just blow them up by looking at them. Was the, was the goal to kill him? Because then you could just laser him right now. Resistance will only make this more difficult. What the fuck? Why are you not trying to kill this kid? Just end him. You have the lasers that could do it, probably. <laughs> Boom, it's over. I don't even know if I should unpause it right now, because the King of Wakanda is dead. He has exploded to all smithereens right now. Unless he's going to blow up the mirror version of him. Okay. That went poorly. Yes, it went poorly. It was a terrible plan. Why are you not just shooting him? Shouldn't Bucky just be lined up on a on a on a building somewhere a mile away and just headshot him? I got him. <sighs> oh, you got him. That's that's great. Good good job, Goliath. You um you you trapped him. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> what did you expect was going to happen? Seriously, what did you think was going to happen? You had a better chance of just punching down at him. 
Maybe you should have done that. That should have been your opening move. Maybe you should have just dropped him out of a plane, and he got really, really big before he hit the ground, and he just curb stomped this kid. Whoa! <laughs> Dead. He should be exploded right now. There should be nothing left of his arm. There is no such thing as stealth in the MCU, I guess. Just shoot him. Why is no one shooting him? Boom, he's dead again. Goliath is dead a second time. Does anyone have a plan? No, no one has a plan, that's the problem. You guys came into the situation with zero plan. Why is Bucky in a ship? The world's greatest assassin does not need a ship. I've got a plan. Retreat. Why? Why are you here? These. This is the best that they assembled. People! There we go, Bucky. Just start, just start nuking this little kid. Perfect. You know what? Right there showed me that he can block things. And that's what you should have done earlier. You should have had a scene where the police officers opened fire at him and all the bullets were blocked. A, a, a tiny little adjustment there could have made this episode so much better. Because then I would believe that, oh, normal weapons do not work on him. Okay, movie's over. He's going to kill them instantly right now because there's no chance in hell they could possibly escape at all. Ooh. Okay, here's a twist. I did not see this coming. Good, now curb stomp him. Just keep smacking with the hammer. There's nothing left but Peter Quill paste. The Earth's mightiest hero is not from Earth at all. Everyone else in this situation absolutely sucks. Now there's actually a chance they could win. Asgard, soon thereafter. This made sense for the Hulk. Because he's in this containment field and the Hulk can only punch things really, really hard. He doesn't need to punch things. You have a, 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 a power source you don't fully understand, so you lock him in a jail cell? You're dumb! One by one, the armies of the Nine Realms perished at that boy's hands. Really? No one else in Asgard could have beaten him? Odin couldn't have beaten him? Because at this point, Odin was still alive. He wasn't in the, uh, the Odin sleep or something like that. You're telling me badass Odin, whose first move is genocide, decided to say, okay, let's go easy on him? Egos used them to implant his essence. I recovered Earths on my way here from a place called Missouri. Why were you in Missouri? Why? What? What? What does that? Why was that even a line? Why did you recover this? Didn't you just come in from the stars? Didn't the Bifrost open up and you just shot in here? You're telling me you shot in Missouri first, found this flower. First, of all, you went on a planet that you you've never been to before, and now you just found a plant. I'm like, oh yes, this plant is is weird. This is, can't be from here. This is from Ego's planet. It, you're too comp you're making it too complicated. The seedlings are the fuse of Ego's expansion. You have no idea what Ego is. None of you have any idea. Because if you would have, I don't think Thor would have done anything but fight to the death to this guy. He wouldn't have escaped. He wouldn't have fled. He would have just kept fighting until there was nothing left. And also, why would, why would Ego or Peter Quill in this scenario have let him live? So they did battle this whole time, and then just he just went their separate ways, and that was it. Of this thing down the garbage disposal, problem solved. Why are you so dumb? I don't un I don't understand. Why are you making Howard Stark into a moron? The seedling is protected by a veil of cosmic energy. Who cares? This, this doesn't matter. Just kill the kid. Only a being of celestial origin can penetrate it. You don't know any of that, and I know you don't know any of that because you're doing a terrible job of explaining it. You know everything about this, yet you've done nothing this entire time to stop it? We have one in custody. Oh, that's great, though. What a coincidence. Just fucking kill him. So if you're wrong. I knew it. I, I, I knew it. This is going to be what saves the world. The fact that she's going to use music. She took his card? What the fuck? I don't believe this is hope at all. Nothing of what the Ant-Man movies have shown me that she's this happy-go-lucky kid that just fucks around and grabs her dad's key cards and goes around places she shouldn't go around. Mm, right. Why are you making kids stupid? If this is the writing for this girl right now, I have even less faith in the Young Avengers going forward. You know it, to nev He's in a fucking prison cell. Why are you going up to him? My mom loved it too. There was never a single time of watching any of these movies that I ever think... Hope cared about music at all. Maybe you should have expressed that in the movies a little bit more. Have her hum some songs. And then this scene would be more impactful to me. 
You know, maybe that might have been a good idea to have in the movies. Give Hope a, a little bit of depth to her character or something like that, though. Maybe she could just hum a song when she's nervous about something like that. And later on, Scott could say, oh, what's that song? It's like, oh, it was my mom's favorite song. It always calms me down. And then it could play in later on through the series. But no, 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 no. Let's just drop this in now for plot convenience. Good job. 13 minutes in. You don't seem so bad. Because you don't know him, you moron. You shouldn't be here. Hey, what's wrong with Missouri? Okay, so he's from Missouri. I get that part. And for some reason, Thor went to Missouri. Did I mishear all that? Why would he go there? He doesn't know where Peter Quill came from at all. So there's, there's, there's no reason why this would happen. I'm just trying to get home. No, you're not. You're here to cause destruction at no point of... Any of what we've seen so far, maybe they go, oh, this poor little E.T. type of kid just wants to phone home. Is she gonna fucking let him out? Here's your breach. Holy fuck, she let him out. Where are my particles? Where are your particles? And where's my key card? Why are you so, I don't know, you, does your suit have fucking pockets? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? So she shrunk the room? Oh good, he's small now. Just throw him in the garbage disposal. Movie's over. Why is she so stupid? You just turned on the news. He's blowing up the city. And now it's, oh hey, you know, he likes music and Springsteen and Corn Dog, So, you know, we're all good. God, you okay, sweetie? Did he hurt you? Are you con- wait, wait, wait a second. You know what's going on? It just said, you know, breach in the containment field. So... How do you know what's going on right now? Like his home world? No, like Missouri. Why is he going to Missouri? They never really explain that. Is he going to see his mom's grave or something like that? Peter's not behind all this. It's his dad. It doesn't matter who's behind this. He's attacking the planet. He's still blowing up shit. Again, at a snail's pace, but still. He's the one causing the destruction. This is taking too long. I will find the boy and destroy him and the seedling. Thank you. Someone actually listens to reason. Hey, Lightning Boy, we kind of have a team thing going on. Your team sucks. The team is useless. You don't need the team. Boy submits to Asgardian justice. Which entails what? Who gives a shit? He's a fucking nuclear bomb who's on your planet to destroy everything. That has been in every other planet so far and destroyed them. Stop sympathizing with him. Go in there and fucking kill him can't just let you take him we need to study him why why do you need to study him who gives a shit right now study his corpse we need to kill him thank you bucky finally someone that speaks english he's a threat even without the seedling well there we go again bucky the fucking voice of reason he's advocating murder okay yes i'm advocating murder for killing something that wants to destroy all of us call me a bad guy nevertheless his logic is sound thank you again it's it just we can't disagree with this kill the kid so long as the boy lives this planet will never be safe perfect there should be no discussion going on further on from here everyone should be aligned say okay we need to kill this kid i know it's a shitty thing that we're doing but it's for the fate of our entire universe we gotta do it you're here to do the right thing yes the right thing is save the world little child that let literally the most important and dangerous thing on our entire planet go what? i hope bucky shoots him I hope Bucky just guns him down the street like nothing. Promise me you'll help him. Here's how I would have answered that. Yes, Hope, I will do the right thing. I promise you I will not harm that kid at all. And the second I get him in my sights, I'm pulling the trigger. So was compromised by an enemy combatant. This is just Peter's ship was landing on Earth and then the, the military shot it and it crashed. And then for some odd reason, he decided to go at a snail's pace and just destroy everything in, in front of him. This, this wasn't the, the plan of Ego, this was just him sneaking out of his room to go do something. The seedling is awakening. Do we know any of this? I'm serious, like, do we actually know that any of this is supposed to be happening? Because we're going by what Thor is saying, and I don't think Thor really knows a lot what's going on right now. You know what would have been a really good idea? If maybe we would have seen a little bit of a flashback from, you know, Thor's perspective... Of maybe him doing battle with Ego or the kid or something like that. And then these plants on the ground just started glowing and then became huge. And then did what they did in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Maybe we could have just seen that for a second. And then I would get to understand where he's coming from. Guess that's the dad. 
Girl was right. <sighs> Wouldn't I love to have that printed on a t-shirt? You are a fucking failure of a company. Imagine writing that down and thinking you're not going to get laughed at. How the hell are we going to take on two? Shoot it with a missile and see what happens. There is an ancient Wakandan proverb from the days before our tribes united. Who gives a fuck? Who cares about that? One only wins a two-front war by getting out of your enemy's way. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Can't fight them both, let them fight each other. Okay, so you're gonna... You're gonna make... Oh, shut up. Hey, I was right, he was going to his mom's grave. Maybe our only hope of stopping dear old dad. He sh Ego shows up, and you're like, oh, there's his dad, and here's... You know everything about this. You know nothing. You know what hope told you, and that's it. And it could have just been a lie. You know, people lie sometimes. You've taken something from me. <laughs> and over the seedling. The seedling is after this whole time? Is the, the, the plant seed? I, I thought he meant the kid, but okay. You know, I'm watching this thinking, how come Ego can't just kill them all right now? It just, it doesn't, it doesn't work. This is again just one of those things of going for cool factor instead of actual logic with these writings. Okay, I think T'Chaka's kind of the most useless in the situation. You could have Goliath just getting really, really tall and rolling on the ground. You know, Thor has flight and lightning and strength and should just, you know, throw his hammer around and everything like that. What can this guy do? What can T'Chaka possibly do to remotely compete with this? Thor has to do that like three times and this battle's over. By Odin's beard! I'm sorry, I'm looking at this situation right now and I'm thinking, yeah, Thor's got this. I don't I don't think for a second that Thor can't just single-handedly destroy this guy on his own. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. You're not doing anything. You're not holding them off at all though. You're firing at him, it's doing zero zero any damage to him. Home plate to Winter Soldier, do you copy? Winter Soldier, do you You lost the Winter Soldier? What did, what did you do? Oh my god, he's literally me. I connect with this man more than any other character in this episode. Okay. Just shoot just just shoot him right now. Don't pause, just pull that trigger and feel nothing afterwards. The Americans have located the target. Shoot him in the face. Just just shoot him instantly. Hell yes, I'm ready to comply. I'll pull the trigger for him. He has this power to, to get inside my head. I get that. And I sympathize with you, but at the same time, you're too dangerous to let live. Goliath's got this. I don't know why we're not seeing more of this guy. Oh, cause I don't get it though. You have Goliath doing all these great things. You have Thor doing all these great things. And here's King D'Chaka just, you know, punching really hard. Remember the scene in Black Panther where they showed that his suit can now absorb energy and then redirect it and stuff like that? Can we have maybe given him this technology? Because I really like the character. I like to see more of him, but it's just he doesn't work at all in the situation. Stay down. Stand down, soldier. What the f oh. No. Don't don't stand down. Who was this? It's just you and me, pal. Okay, so now you can hear me shoot this kid in the face. Bucky, when you see that kid, all you see is a target. Are you negotiating? With the Winter Soldier, who when he's in that mode, he is nothing more than just a robot. There, there, is, there is no human in him. He just does whatever he's commanded to do. He does not have free will. He is an assassin that's essentially a robot. The good he can do. I would not take that risk. I'm sorry, I am pulling the trigger. And I see it in you too. No, I don't see it in him at all either. You're nothing more than a killer. You don't know me. Steve Rogers did. I don't even believe that they even know that this is Bucky because why would this information ever get leaked? Why would the Russians, after making Bucky into the Winter Soldier, have a whole profile about his life and stuff like that though? I don't think that's something they would even remotely write down. It's like, what's the point? The friend he loved would never take that shot. Okay, well, I'm not that man anymore. I'm a mindless robot killing machine. Goliath, just start rolling. You're so much cooler than this. Perfect, he's, he's so vulnerable, pull the trigger. Do it, get them both in one shot. Oh, you fucking bitch. It can't break. You are, s <laughs> you can't do anything. Why are you here? Free. Oh, no. Why are you 
you being trapped? You're you're Thor. I'm gonna make it. What? You've been sitting here this whole time. Shrink, grow, do something. Oh, yes. As if on Germany. Why would you put that in this? Every line Peggy Carter has said has been absolute dog shit. <sighs> you're alive, and you. Well, you seem to have fallen in with the wrong crowd. So Ego finally gets Peter Quill who he's been searching for this whole time, and then just lets him go off on his own thing? He doesn't sit him down and tell him, this is our mission, this is what we have to do? He, just, he seems kind of confused by this. But you, you know you don't have the power to destroy me. But you do. I'm a Star Lord. There is no way that's what killed him. Please tell me that there's, there's something else going on here. Holy shit, he really killed him. That was it? That's all it took? Wow, that's really it. He, that's, that's how it ends. What do you call it? Uh, light beer? Maybe you kids might like to have her. <laughs> no, do not give a fucking cat to them. It's a flurgan. You don't know what it could do. Any word on silent but deadly? He's in the wind. I hope Bucky just blows up the entire house right now. Winter Soldier may be out there, but I'm pretty sure Bucky Barnes is out there with him. Why did you ruin him? Why did you ruin the Winter Soldier? One of the coolest characters. Boy may have destroyed Ego's corporeal form. I'm sorry, Ego's still alive? Is that how Ego works, though? That he is just the giant planet and then can send out smaller versions of himself to do other things? We have sort of a team thing. You guys are not a team at all. There was only one person that did a good job here, and that was Thor. Everyone else was horribly ill-equipped for this job. This is the team. <laughs> this is the Avengers. Wow. My god. Episode 2. Wasn't as bad as episode 1 though. At least it was a little bit better because it was just that one little change. But what an absolute disaster of an episode. Just, there is no hope for this. So what's the plan going forward now? They're gonna, they're gonna go to Ego's planet and destroy the entire planet? Like what, what are any of you gonna do? I, they're not going to show that. Thank God they're not going to show any of that stuff. But that's going to be bad. And also, where where is this series going, though? Because the first season, all the events and all the episodes led up to that final battle with Ultron. Where the Watcher pulled all of them from all their different universes. And, okay, now we're going to assemble the giant group, though. Is that where this is going in the end, though? Are we going to have some kind of a Kang multiversal war or something like that? And we're going to get... You know, Nebula, Detective, and these Avengers and stuff like that, and this new Peter Quill, and they're gonna all come together and do something. I, I have no idea, and I, I really don't care. This is, I don't know. Is it better than the first season? I don't know. That first Captain Carter episode was so much better than everything we've seen so far. So, I don't really know. But all I can tell you, I have no faith in episode three. So. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know what you think about this episode, and hopefully we can talk about it one day.